Spire Global, Inc. is a space-to-cloud data and analytics company that specializes in the tracking of global data sets powered by a large constellation of nanosatellites, such as the tracking of maritime, aviation and weather patterns. The company currently operates a fleet of more than 70 CubeSats, the second-largest commercial constellation by number of satellites, and the largest by number of sensors. Its satellites are integrally designed and built in-house. It has launched more than 100 satellites to orbit since its creation. The company has offices in San Francisco, Boulder, Washington D.C., Glasgow, Luxembourg, Singapore. Topic: History Topic Early Years Spire was founded in June 2012 in San Francisco by International Space University graduates Peter Platzer, Jeroen Kapert and Joel Spark as part of Arduzat, a project aiming to «democratize access to space». Tests for early prototypes were conducted over the summer and the fall through a high-altitude balloon. This effort was partly financed through crowdfunding, with a Kickstarter that raised Spire $106,330. In November the company signed an agreement with Nanoracks for the deployment of two satellites in what was to become the first U.S. commercial satellite deployment from the International Space Station. In order to raise the capital required for the manufacturing of those satellites, the company incubated with Lemnos Labs. It raised investments totaling $1.5 million in a seed round by Shasta Ventures, Limnos Labs, E-Merge, Grishin Robotics, and Bimonte Investments in February 2013. A year after signing with Nanoracks, on November 19, 2013 both ARDUSAT-1 and Arduzat-X were successfully released from the Kibo experiment module of the International Space Station and quickly started transmitting data to Spire servers. Following this experimentation, Spire engineers opted to focus on three U nanosatellites to start porting more complex payloads, launching the first iteration of its standard satellite satellite format, Lemur-1, with the DNEPR rocket in June 2014, transiting from 1U to 3U in only seven months, and launching its first prototype just two years after incorporation. On the basis of this early success, Spire announced in July a follow-up $25 million Series A funding round led by Will Porteous from RRE Ventures and backed by Emerge, Mitsui & Co., Global Investment, and Moose Partners Capital. The following month, the company announced that Arduzat would be spun off of the company and would focus exclusively on educational technology in partnership with U.S. high schools. Shortly after, Spire opened its Singapore office in late 2014 and started steadily increasing its network of ground stations. Topic. Growth. On June 30, 2015, the company announced a $40 million Series B led by Promise Ventures with participation from Bessemer Venture Partners and Jump Capital, in order to help finance the first batches of Lemur satellites. The first Lemur 2 were launched in September 2015 through the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle X, making Spire the first U.S.-based operator to launch from India. This launch inaugurated the Spire tradition to leave the naming of each satellite to employees, with the first three lemurs christened respectively Joel, Peter and Jeroen after the company's co-founders. Facing increasing pressure to mass-produce satellites and constrained by the limited space in its San Francisco office, Spire opened an office in Glasgow in February 2015, initially leveraging Clyde Space's facilities, before opening its own full-fledged cleanroom for satellite manufacturing in December 2015. The city was chosen to leverage the local know-how of what is widely considered the leading European ecosystem in small satellite production and establish a first foothold in Europe. 
These facilities enabled Spire to quickly produce a first batch of four nanosatellites launched in September before manufacturing a full eight lemur satellites ahead of an Atlas V launch in March 2016. This launch saw Spire cross the line of 10 simultaneously operating satellites in June of that year, following deployment from the ISS. Two additional launches were conducted that year, putting the total satellites sent to space by the company that year at 16, confirming its ability to industrialize the manufacturing process of its nanosatellites. Concomitantly, Spire opened a second U.S. campus in Boulder, Colorado in January 2016. The company hired Dave Ector, the former program manager for NASA's Cosmic Satellites, and Alexander McDonald, former director of NOAA's Earth System Research Laboratory, and started drawing on the resources of the local weather ecosystem powered by the University of Colorado Boulder, to kickstart its weather program in the city. To this effect, the team started working on Spire's own GNSS radio occultation payload, enabling the company to constantly collect highly accurate data on local atmospheric properties which greatly enhance the forecasting abilities of weather models. This program quickly enabled Spire to participate in the inaugural Commercial Weather Data Pilot Program of the U.S. National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration in September 2016. Spire's participation was confirmed and broadened in September 2018 for the second round of the CWDP program. This program aims to enable weather-focused administrations to procure data largely obtained from radio occultation profiles created by private entities in order to improve the precision of the publicly available weather models. Over 2017, the company launched six missions, yielding an additional 36 operated satellites despite the critical failure of a Soyuz vehicle carrying 10 lemurs in November. Spire closed the year by completing a $70 million Series C led by the Government of Luxembourg, through its National Luxembourg Future Fund, and opened its second European campus in the city, enabling the company's access to regional talent and facilities. This round put the total amount of capital raised by Spire at $140.5 million. In early 2018, Spire participated in the first flight of Rocket Lab's Electron rocket, and was selected for Arianespace's Vega proof of concept, further broadening its launch portfolio. It participated in a total of seven launch missions, yielding 28 new operated satellites, and developed its own ADS-B payload able to track the movement of equipped airplanes across areas that conventional ground radars cannot cover, and that is quickly becoming a standard following the MH370 disappearance. In 2019, the company formalized its first business unit as Spire Maritime, based in Luxembourg, and launched its 100th lemur satellite on April 1. Satellite Spire's lemur satellites are flexible platforms built to operate a variety of in-house or hosted payloads. It currently commercializes its platform on a space as a service offering with aerospace and defense customers. Spire designs, builds, tests, and operates all its satellites in house at its Glasgow offices. The company uses minimally adapted COTS electronics to reduce cost. The satellites are placed in low Earth orbit and are scheduled to be retired and replaced every two to three years. Spire adheres to internationally recognized guidelines for disposal of old satellites. The company's satellites are multi sensor. Data types such as Automatic Identification System ICE, service are used for tracking sea vessels. This data is valuable for use in illegal fishing, trade monitoring, maritime domain awareness, insurance, asset tracking, search and rescue, and prevention of piracy, among others. 
Spire Sense product leveraging the company's ICE data set was officially launched on February 2019. The GNSSRO weather payload measure temperature, pressure, among other key characteristics across a slice of the atmosphere, or profile. These characteristics are highly valuable for public and private weather forecasters across the world as they strongly increase the forecasting capabilities of weather models. Ads B sensors were launched in 2018 to permanently track aircraft across all skies. This data is getting increasingly regarded as the new standard for modern aviation as it enables air controllers and companies to constantly monitor aircraft across isolated areas and oceans which ground-based radars are not able to cover. <laughs> 